Hi, this is Sean Bodley with Clear Technologies, and I'm going to go over what's new in AIX 7.2 in regards to the network application repackaging. Now, I'm going to give an overview of what it is, uh, what you need to know about it, and probably most importantly, why you should care. Uh, and then I will follow up at the end with giving an example of uh, going through a process that uh, you may be interested in. So first, let me let me give some information here. Now, I was fortunate to find this information straight out of the AIX 7.2 pub that uh, should actually be uh, available online soon as this demo is being recorded the night before uh, general availability release of AIX 7.2. So, in previous versions of AIX, there were two main file sets of BOSNET TCP IP client and BOSNET TCP uh, server. This has now been broken out into 33 individual file sets and I'm, I've got another slide that I will show you what those file sets are. Now, why did we do this and why should you care? This is uh, really kind of the meat of it is a lot of it has to do with security uh, it makes it easier to tighten up the security and keep it that way. Uh, for example, you know, it's common to disable Telnet and FTP uh, on most systems. And the next time you go do an update or an upgrade and the file sets of BossNet TCP are updated, we have to turn around and redo it again. We have to re-disable. Uh, a lot of the things that we've done to harden up security. So now having these broken out into separate file sets, I do know for sure that you can actually remove selective file sets. So by default when you do an install, it's going to install everything that you're familiar with before uh, and then you can selectively remove if you wish. So. The original file sets of BossNet TCP client and server have actually been rolled into these new names that have the underscore core at the end of it, BossNet TCP client core uh, and server core. However, there will still be a file set with the previous original names. Now these are essentially empty file sets and one of their big jobs in life for the time being is to assist with other application installs that may prereq the original file set names. So that way it'll show that they're installed uh, when you're installing something else that has a prereq dependency on it. Now, AIX itself, the other file sets will. Um, any other thing bundled within AIX that had a dependency on those before will now have a dependency on client core instead. So the last thing down here at the bottom is that when you want to go through and remove any one of these individual file sets, you'll have to remove one of the other file sets that are associated with it, these kind of empty file sets of client or server. So, and I'm, and I'm going to show an example of this, but what you have to do is you have to determine which particular file set uh, is affected by the one you want to remove. And that is accomplished by uh, running an LSLPP minus D as in dog against the file set to check for dependencies. And if whichever one of those two comes up, uh, you will have to remove it as well. Uh, once, you original, once you remove it the first time, uh, it'll stay gone. So if there are additional ones that normally would have it as a dependency that you want to remove, then of course it won't show up as a dependency anymore because it's no longer there. Now let me show you kind of a before and after. The original packaging in AIX, when I do a uh, grab for BossNet TCP IP, here's all that I see installed uh, prior to AIX 7.2. Now in 7.2 I have all these additional ones. So there's 33 more on top of the original four. So you can see down here I have 37. Now most of these should make sense of what they are. Uh, the names are very descriptive. Um, so I'm actually going to 
show an example of doing a removal of FTP and Telnet. Um, of course, there may be multiple that you choose to remove. Uh, I'm just going to show those two as an example. So here we go. The first thing I do is I'm looking for, okay, which, which file set is uh, responsible for the FTP command. So I do this lslpp minus w. I see that it's bossnet tcp.ftp, which makes perfect sense that that's what it is. I do the same thing for the for the telnet command and find bossnet tcp telnet. Now I come back and I find what is the dependency of each file set. So for FTP I have the tcp client and the same thing for telnet. I have the uh, tcp client as a dependency. So then all I do is I turn around and run a essentially an uninstall or a deinstall of all three of those file sets. And once that has completed successfully, I turn around and check and say, hey look, my commands don't exist anymore. They're no longer there. Now, something else to know is that if you actually turn around and try to install bossnet tcp client, it's going to turn around and reinstall these right back, both the FTP and Telnet in my case, uh, but anything else that would be linked as a dependency, it would bring them all back. So for the most part, that's not a big deal. It's just something to be aware of. Um, again, if there's any other applications that may have a dependency or that's prereqing these base, the BossNet TCP client or server, um, you'll need them to be there so you can install it, or if what you're trying to install actually has um, you know, something like a talk file where you could edit the prereqs, then you may be able to just edit it yourself to change it from client to the underscore uh, core version of those file sets. So be sure uh, to share that information with any application people that you work with, both internal and externally, uh, as you move to AIX 7.2 to make that aware. Uh, hopefully a lot of application vendors uh, will already know about it, but just in case, uh, do your best to disseminate that information. So uh, overall, that's about all I've got to share on the subject. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them here in the comments section or send me an email. If I don't know the answer, I will gladly go find out what the answer is. And as always, thanks for watching.